Good morning everyone. It's Saturday. It's the day of the royal wedding and I'm not watching it. I actually have made plans to meet up with my friend Jess who is a fellow vegan blogger. Um, her blog is Simply Living Vegan and we got tickets for a Linda McCartney's event called Linda's Table. We saw it advertised a little while ago and just loved the look of it. I think it's like I haven't really properly read into it, um, but from what I can see, it looks like different chefs or certain selected people creating like really gorgeous dishes using Linda McCartney's ingredients. And then I think basically you get to try those dishes and just hear them talk about them and stuff. So I think that's only on between 12 and one, although an hour doesn't seem very long for the amount of stuff that I saw that they fit into the Bristol one last weekend, so I'm not convinced it's actually just gonna be between 12 and one, but we'll see anyway. Um, and then we have a little mission. We really want to go and try the avocado ice cream that I've seen advertised at Selfridges. It looks ridiculous. They've basically scooped out an avocado, made ice cream out of avocado, and made it look like an avocado. <laughs> Um, I think it's quite expensive. I think it's like £10 a portion. Me and Jess will probably share a portion. Um, but yeah, I'm just, it's just one of those things. Like, it's ridiculous. I'll probably only try it once, but it just has to be done, for, especially for like an Avo fan like myself. So I'm not massively bothered about missing the Royal Wedding today. I'm not really, I don't know. I wouldn't call myself like a fan of the Royals. I'm just a bit indifferent to them, I guess. Um, I'm not massively bothered. Um, but it will be nice to see kind of like what she wore and what the dress was like and stuff. So no doubt I'll be inundated with news on the TV when I get home on that. So yeah, I'm all ready to go now. Um, Andy's gonna drop me to the station and then I'm gonna be on my way. Pretty good news is that it's a gloriously sunny, warm day today. So it feels nice not to go and have to go into London with a big coat or anything. Excited for the Royal Wedding? Yeah, I'm going to take the windows off the Twizzy today to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> How is that celebrating the Royal Wedding? I don't know. Something different. Are you going to watch it while I'm out? No. I've got to today. I'm also hoping it's going to be really quiet today in London because it's a Saturday. Hopefully most people are going to be at home watching the wedding or have migrated to Windsor for the day. Um, I normally, whenever I go to like these vegan events, they're normally during the week and nine times out of ten they're normally at like six or seven p.m. So I always get stuck in like the worst train rush hour situation. Um, so that won't happen today, which will be nice. It will feel like a much more leisurely trip into London, hopefully. I've given Andy a massive to-do list because he creates a lot of mess asked me if the people who made Linda McCartney sausages are going to be there. I don't actually know the answer to that, but you said you'd like to ask them lots of questions. I'd like to talk to them. What would you say? Hi. I, like <laughs> I your love sausages. your sausages. I eat about <laughs> 50 of them a week. Super comfy in my outfit today. Um, I've got this like harem jumpsuit from ASOS on and these shoes from ASOS as well are so comfortable, like leopard print kind of sandals. A little health update as well, um, I'm still reducing off my antidepressant medication and still suffering some quite horrible side effects. Um, I reduced again when we got back from Ibiza and basically I'm struggling really badly with joint pain. I think from what I've Googled, it's a common side effect of coming off a medication like venlafaxine. Um, but I thought before it was because I was running, because I was doing couch to 5K and I just blamed it because it's mainly in my knees. But yesterday I had it like all up my back and my lower back. Um, and because I was doing couch to 5K the last time I reduced, I blamed it on the running. But I haven't been running and I reduced my meds when I got back from Ibiza and the knee pain is just something else. I literally feel like I'm moving around so slow at the moment because I just feel really dodgy. 
it's so horrible because I feel like if I was to just come off it cold turkey I would be absolutely grounded and probably like bedridden for a couple of weeks at least and I wouldn't know when that was going to end but doing it this way is kind of like manageable to some extent because I'm able to still get on with stuff and stick to plans but I feel a bit rubbish like the whole time I'm doing that so it's not the best. London looks so pretty today, so nice with all the flags out. It's a real kind of like party atmosphere. I've accidentally stumbled into the most gorgeous plant shop. I love this. I've got a small one of these. Absolutely love those palms. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. I do houseplant videos on YouTube, so I'm always looking for like houseplant shops. <laughs> and I was just walking by and I was like, oh, this is amazing. Yes. So nice. This one's on my wish list. So pretty. Um, what are these? So it's all vegan. It's soy wheat in there, but it's um, a hoisin duck sushi. Amazing. Got my words there. I'm gonna go to this one. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. from today are going to the Trussell Trust. Um, they have 400 strong network that uh, give food and support to people who are in crisis. Right, so what we're going to do is take three of the frozen ingredients and just do something a little bit different with them. Add a few herbs, a few different cooking techniques. Hopefully make something quite interesting. So the first thing we're going to work on is Jay's Miso Glaze Portobello Veggie Wellington. I was going to stay up in London after myself and Jess had the avocado Ugh. I was going to stay up in London for a bit after myself and Jess had the avocado ice cream which I really enjoyed by the way I probably wouldn't eat a whole one to myself because A it's £9.50 and B it was quite filling it wasn't like ice cream that you can just devour but I really liked it really refreshing especially on a, like a hot day like today and yeah, the Linda's event was also really good. I just feel really like, ugh, at the moment. I need to get, get in and have a wash and tie my hair up and change. Like, I feel like a grubby from London. Um, but yeah, the Linda's event was also really good. Um, we got to try a few different dishes, which was really nice. And we got a goodie bag. I'll show you what I got inside when I get home. Andy's just picked me up from the station and he's just running to co-op now to get some drinks and stuff because we're running a bit low at home and we was going to get a Chinese tonight but we actually had Wagamama's yesterday and like Chinese is usually our Saturday night thing um, but I actually, I don't know why, I've just got a real craving for a burger and 
We tried the Iceland no ball burgers the other day and I wasn't really massively impressed by them. Like they were a little bit too meat-like for me and I think maybe because we had them on the barbecue, I don't know, they just weren't doing it for me. Um, they made me feel a little bit queasy, just too much like the real thing I think. But loads of people have said I should try Linda McCartney's. Um, my usual favourite burger is fries but I think I can only get that from Mercado. So in terms of what we can get from the supermarket I think we're going to try and get a Linda McCartney's burger. Um, I think they've given me a £2 off voucher today which I've got in my goodie bag. Um, Andy also bought Suki. Hey. Um, whenever he picks me up from the station he always brings Suki now it's become a little bit of a tradition and I just love it <laughs> she's always so excited to see me are you pleased to see your mummy it's hot isn't it today hot for you it's nice in here in the aircon though home now and I'm just catching the royal wedding highlights on the TV and I just thought I'd show you what was in the Linda McCartney's goodie bag so we got this tote bag um, I got a £2 off voucher, these really nice wooden um, salad servers, we have like the Linda McCartney's branding on them which is quite nice, um, we got three recipe cards, so we got three recipe cards which were basically the dishes that we tried today, um, I'm not sure if I'll be giving all of these a go but I think the Wellington would really appeal to Andy and that's something we could maybe do on a Sunday with like a roast dinner so might hang on to that one and give that a go at some point. I've got my little Polaroid picture of me and Jess and they also put in this really lovely fetching apron which I really like. I'm not really an apron wearer in my kitchen um, but that it will come in handy I'm sure probably at Christmas Christmas is when the aprons come out usually or when I'm baking so yeah good morning Suki so this is what Monday mornings usually look like for me decided to do all our clothes washing yesterday and now at some point today I've got to put all this away four clothes horses worth of clothes good morning everyone it's now Monday morning, Woo. my chair just decided to, oh my god, that made my heart go a bit. It's now Monday morning, um, I didn't really finish the vlog Saturday because I was just so tired and shattered once I got in and there wasn't really much else to report. Andy made some uh, veggie burgers and wedges and we just sat and ate them and I think then we watched The Martian which was a really good film, we actually saw it at the cinema a few years ago but... Um, it was good to watch it again because I've kind of forgotten it. Usually Monday mornings are spent in my office and it's the time when I need to catch up with work, reply to emails and sort out my blog posts and stuff for the week. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I also need to sort out all the photos from Saturday because I'm going to do a blog post about the Linda McCartney event. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I just wanted to show you this really lovely bag Tropic sent me. So how gorgeous is this? They're like a brand after my own heart with all this plant themed stuff. Um, they actually sent me all of their new, well, they actually sent me a lot from their new hair care range. So Tropic now have a number of different hair care products, which all look really amazing. Um, and they're all currently in here. I'm not gonna get them all out, but how cool is this as well? This is like a little head massager that you can use in the shower. Um, but I think I've got like a shampoo, a conditioner, a treatment, like an oil as well. So basically I need to try these out. But I also need to photograph them and I always feel like I want to photograph something before I actually start using it because once it's been sat in the shower and stuff it tends to look a bit rubbish. Um, so I need to photograph it before I've used it. And this is how it tends to work a lot of the time like when brands send me products and it can be a bit of a delayed process because I'll receive them and then I need to schedule in photographing them and thinking about how I, how I want to like style the products for the shoot and then I'll test the products out for a couple of weeks and see how I like them before then sitting down and writing up a review. So 
that's what I need to do. I need to get started with that this week. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to take the photographs today, but hopefully this week, and then I can start using them because I've actually run out of shampoo and conditioner as well. So after I've done some work today, I'm also going to pop to Sainsbury's because I need to stock up on some food and yeah, just need to get some bits. Anyway, time to crack on. three blog posts up for this week if you want to check them out I will leave a link to my blog below I can tell you what they're gonna be about I've done a review for the vegan kind beauty box which will be up on Tuesday the day before this vlog goes live I've also done a review of donut time who are an amazing vegan London based uh, donut shop who I was lucky enough to visit on Friday last week and try their amazing donuts Oh my God, you need to go and look at the pictures of these donuts. They were so good. And then on Thursday, which will be tomorrow, um, I have my post going up of Linda McCartney's veggie table event that I went to on Saturday. So all my work is done. I'm usually way more organized than this. I, I usually work like a week ahead. So I'm not doing stuff like on Monday for the week ahead. I'm doing stuff for the next week. But since my holiday, I've fallen behind a little bit. These are just some of the blog posts that I've done recently. Um, last week was National Vegetarian Week, so I was doing almost like a recipe a day. Um, so go and check them out if you didn't see them already. They're quite good like food inspo if you're looking for like some vegan dinner ideas and stuff. So there was the chickpea curry, um, the mixed bean chili, tofu and vegetable stir fry, mushroom bolognese, and the all day brunch, which looking at that picture now, I could eat right now. That looks so good. Um, I also done a collaboration with the uh, ethical cleaning company BioD. Um, so there's a blog post and a video up about them as well. And I also put on a little post with some pictures from our holiday to Ibiza. So they're all my latest blog posts in one place. I didn't vlog it, but Andy made me a really nice. Um, Linda McCartney's veggie sausage bath because I had some grapes this morning and then instantly felt like really hungry afterwards so I needed something else so he made me a really nice bath but I ate it before I could vlog it. Are you ready to go for your walkies? Also just a little update on Zen. He went to the super vets a few weeks ago because he had a luxating patella operation 
basically on this leg here it's starting to heal up quite nicely now but he basically had an operation on his knee to fix his slippy kneecaps didn't you boy yes and you got to see super vet it wasn't actually the super vet it wasn't actually noel fitzpatrick who done his operation it was another veterinary surgeon at Supervets, um, but we, we went there and we actually saw Noel in reception, it was really fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna be avidly watching the next series or whenever it's next on because I feel like we might be in it, we might be in like one of the reception scenes. Right, I've just arrived at Sainsbury's. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film with this because I find it a little bit stressful going around the supermarket on my own whilst trying to vlog. Um, and it's not kind of like a vegan weekly shop thing or anything like that. I'm just out and about today. So I thought I'd bring my camera along in case anything exciting happens, which it probably won't. I mean, it's a Monday afternoon what's gonna happen. I do just feel like this Sainsbury stresses me out a little bit though, because not only do you have to pay and display, you also have to have a pound for the trolley. Yeah, and those two things alone, <laughs> I find quite stressful. I quite like the supermarkets that you can like bowl up to and the trolleys are just there and you don't have to pay to park because it's in the middle of the town, so. But I really like this Sainsbury's because they have loads of homeware, loads of clothes, like all the bits and pieces I like looking at. And I've still got a few, I feel like everyone I know was born in June and July, so I've got quite a few birthdays to buy for at the moment. Um, and yeah, I'd, I've started, but you know, like when you just want to get some like little bits and pieces to go in the bags and little filler presents kind of thing. So I'm going to be looking out for some of them today. I've also got my friend and her little girl coming over Wednesday for a little garden picnic kind of thing. Cause the weather's supposed to be really nice. So I need to get like some foodie bits for that. Um, yeah, and I've also remembered my bags for life. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you some of the bits I picked up in Wilco's, I think this was. Um, so yeah, I'm having a bit of a garden get together this week with my friend and her little girl. So I got this really cute little turtle who swims around in the paddling pool. Um, I also got a water pistol because Andy has really wanted a water pistol. Um, I then got this little watering can for the paddling pool and one of these super soaker splasher things and just one of these giant bubble makers and then I saw water bombs and we haven't actually had water bombs ever <laughs> so I thought these would be really fun so yeah it was a successful shopping trip although I'm really struggling with fatigue at the moment and I'm not sure if like I've said before I'm not sure if it's due to coming off my medication or I feel like I might be deficient in some kind of nutrient. So I think I'm either gonna to go to the doctors and have a blood test to see if I am deficient in anything. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna get myself, like I've got the usual vegan multivitamin, but I think I'm gonna get myself some magnesium because I've been hearing really good things about that. Some iron and also some B12, just to see if it kind of helps with my levels of tiredness. I don't know, does anyone else struggle with tiredness? Like unexplained tiredness? It's really annoying. Um, yeah, I don't know, it could be a number of different things at the moment, that's when it's like annoying, um, when you don't really know what it is. I feel like there's a million things wrong with me at the moment. I go through phases like this where I'll be absolutely fine and then it feels like everything's going wrong at once and I'll feel really like I've got loads of ailments building up, which isn't good at all so I feel really tired I'm on my second cup of tea now and I'm gonna sit down and do some video editing tomorrow I'm quite excited because one of my friends she has bought a yurt for one of her villas that she rents out and she's having a photo shoot there tomorrow and she has invited me along to be one of the models which I'm not sure how I feel about that but it's gonna be super casual so it's gonna be fine um, and I've kind of volunteered myself now anyway, but yeah, I'm feeling a little bit body conscious at the moment. So, but she said I can wear what I want and it's just going to be super comfortable. So yeah. And I think we might be having like glitter art done on our bodies and stuff. And it's going to be a fun vibe tomorrow. So 
I'm gonna take you along for a little snippet of that as well. Now it's laptop and tea time and Winnie has joined me in the office. Andy's side of the office is just chaos. This is what his side of the office looks like. My side, okay, I've got stuff going on on my desk, but I think you'd agree it looks quite pretty. Whereas his side just looks like an ugly mess. To join me on my lap and just check out this massive um, shaved spot he's got on his back. He had to have an epidural when he had his operation and it's actually started to grow back a little bit now, but it's kind of disappointing really that he had to have this massive hole cut in the back of his fur. It's just going to take so long to grow back and get back to normal and he kind of looks a bit odd with it, but it needed to happen, didn't it, boy? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's, what day is it today? Tuesday. I'm losing track of this week. And I'm getting tangled up because I'm wearing this kimono that's got tassels on it and I keep sitting on it. Oh, So I've just been rushing to get ready this morning um, because I'm off to this photo shoot thingy, which I'm quite looking forward to actually. I'm not really, not really sure what to expect. Um, I've gone for some false eyelashes today. I really like them, but I haven't actually put on false lashes in years to be honest i just haven't bothered with them but i thought i'll make the extra effort today and it was a bit of a risk because i only had like an hour and a bit to get ready and my previous experience of putting on false eyelashes hasn't been a good one but fortunately they come out okay so fingers crossed they will last the distance because there's nothing worse than walking around feeling like your eyelashes are falling off and you look ridiculous. Feeling quite happy with my look. I've got a couple of outfit changes and I'm going in this kind of like chilled, casual yoga. I think we're doing like yoga poses. So this is like quite a chilled, casual yoga pose look. Um, and then I'm gonna change into like a dress or something. And yeah, I'm excited. So off we go. And I'm just gonna go and check out the yurt at the end of my friend's garden. <laughs> These flowers are gorgeous. Hi Claire. <laughs> you okay? Oh, yeah. yeah, good, thank you. Good to see you, my darling. How are you doing? Oh, oh this good. looks I'm gorgeous. Oh my god, I love it. Wow. Well, you could have been commissioned to do like the royal wedding. Well, why not? shoot now and I'm feeling pretty tired so I think I'm gonna have a little chill out with my doggies and I'm gonna end the vlog here as well and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon and he's gonna be like what the hell where the hell have you been today <laughs> see you soon bye